Yo, what's up guys, Sichiko Golan here, welcome to this new episode. In today's video, I'm gonna propose you guys a new serious idea. Let me know in the comment section below if you like the idea. Basically, what I'm gonna try and do is play 2.6 Hawk Psycho without actually playing with Hawk Rider. As you guys can see, we're gonna play the typical, yeah, 2.6 card, Musketeer, Quick Psycho, Ice Golem, Fireball, Lock plus Cannon, and then we switch around the win condition. In today's video, I'm gonna be rocking Expo. In future videos, let me know in the comment section below. What you guys would like to see could be anything really, could be, for example, I don't know, Royal Giant, Lava Hound, Golem, could be another Psycho card. Looks like we're, by the way, facing a pro player. I don't know if you guys know this guy, but Hugo is a um, yeah, French pro, pro player. So I don't know why we actually face a pro player in game number one um, in today's video. But I guess good content for you guys. Probably going to be a rough one for me. At least the good thing is that he's not going to expect the expo. So that's going to be yeah, a positive thing for us in today's, uh, well, not in today's video in this matchup so let's go with a musketeer here let's then afterwards i think now go with an expo as well and i don't think he was expecting this one to be honest okay i'm gonna go ice spirit and i'm gonna go cannon like this he does have hawk rider but yeah thanks to the cannon that's gonna connect to the tower so it's gonna be a little bit of chip damage do need to watch out afterwards with the hawk rider but the dagger dashes is really good against the hawk rider so this is actually gonna be a very good start to the yeah to this match to the game but it's gonna be a really rough matchup i think i mean hawk cycle of course um yeah with the earthquake Really good against the cannon, really good against the x ball. So I think in this case, I definitely would have preferred the Hawk Rider over the x ball. But I mean, that's the funny part about the series. Um, we can switch the win condition. We can change um, yeah, the x ball for, I don't know, as I said, like Royal Giant, anything really. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys have an idea for future videos. Okay, I think I'm going to go x ball defensively here. Kind of an awkward spot to go offensively. He has the Mighty Miner there as well. I think I'm just going to go look here to Psycho. He does go with, with what? Okay. I mean, you guys can see now that I'm not an expo player. I was not expecting him to be able to hit the expo from there with the earthquake. Is it like one more to the left? I guess it's one more to the left. Um, yeah, I'm an, another expo player, as you guys can see here. So let's go with Cannon Hero defense. I think Cannon should be able to do a decent job with the dagger dashes against the Hawk Rider. And afterwards, I'm just going to cycle, I think, towards the... I'm not sure if I should, should, should cycle. I can't even speak right now towards the opposite lane. Okay, let's go Musketeer here plus the Ice Golem. And then I think we should probably switch lanes, but this is going to be a rough one. I don't really know what to do here, to be honest. Okay, I'm going to go Expo like this. Nice. Musketeer will be able to stay alive because the Firecracker is now on top of the Expo. And then afterwards, I think I'm just... I'm going to start Fireball. I don't know if this is crazy, guys, but I'm going to start Fireball cycling um, the tower right now. Let's go Cannon here. Let's see what he's going to drop afterwards. We can prepare the look as well. And at this point, I think I'm just going to yeah, already start fi Fireball cycling. That's whatever they do when I play against Expo players. So I think that's a good play. Like, what is the Expo placement? Is it like, okay, I think now it doesn't matter. Um, I'm just going to go Expo somewhere here. And then I'm going to go Ice Golem at the bridge to block a potential Firecracker. And let's see what he's going to do. Okay, I think I'm going to go Fireball like this. Nice, let's go Fireball right away. Let's go with Prediction Lock on top of those guards. Let's then go with Skeletons on the left side. And then I don't think we need to yeah, really over defend to be honest here. Nice, Skeletons were able to get quite a bit of value, and I'm gonna go with Evil Ice Spirit on defense, and I think with the Evil Ice Spirit, it's already gonna be enough to defend the Hawk Rider, I think the Hawk Rider, oh my god, it did get one shot, okay, please tell me, I was about to say, please tell me it's not gonna get another shot, so my question is, can we outcycle, like, can we cycle quick enough fireballs to the point where we, like, beat him to the Earthquake cycle, I don't really know, to be honest, okay, let's go Cannon plus Ice Spirit to push it towards the... Um, Okay, let's go with Fireball here. Skeletons for a potential Firecracker in the last second. And then at this point, yeah, I mean, we're not going to get to the tower with the Expo. So at this point, I'm just going to have to spell cycle him. Um, there's no other option for us, to be honest. Okay, let's see. We need to be careful, guys, because he does have the champion. We don't have a champion, so that's like the negative thing for us. Um, I'm going to go with another Fireball here. Let's see. Let's go with, I think, an Ice Spirit up high for a potential Firecracker. And then I'm also going to go with an Ice Column, just to make sure that he can't go with a Firecracker at any point. To get more chip damage and then i'm gonna prepare the lock here as well okay let's go look right away perfect let's cycle another musketeer he does go with his own lock he's probably soon gonna go with um an hawk rider okay let's go fireball now and then i'm sorry for this gameplay but it's like the only thing we can do to be honest i'm gonna go ice column here as well let's go look towards the right side again i'm gonna go musketeer he goes with firecracker i'm gonna go with fireball and i don't really know what's happening to be honest right now okay let's go cannon here Perfect. Let's then go with Ice Golem up high. Let's go with a look. I'm gonna go with Musketeer last second. We need to watch out with the damage on the left side, to be honest. Okay, Skeletons. No, I misclicked the, the cannon. Well, I guess it's fine, actually. Okay, it was nice. Okay, let's act like that was calculated. I'm gonna go with a Fireball as well. I'm gonna go with Ice Spirit. 
Um, nice, perfect prediction on top of the firecracker. Let's go with cannon. Uh, let's go with ice golem. I don't even know what's happening, but we just ended up beating this guy. Let's go, guys. Let's go with a log. Let's go with the fireball. This guy was a really good player, by the way. Dagger dashes is definitely really nice against the Hawk Rider. And then also that one um, yeah, connection in single elixir actually ended up helping us get the W against him. Because if not, that was impossible. I mean, getting fireball cycle uh, like that is already crazy. But of course, the damage we got with the expo in single elixir definitely made it possible. Because if not, I don't think we would have been able to out damage him with either the spells or in general just out damage him with um yeah with the expo because i think the expo was never gonna connect i mean he has mighty miner he has hawk rider he has earthquake he has a really good cycle against the um, the expo okay let's go cannon here let's go with a lock to clean up everything why are we facing back-to-back -back earthquake decks what is this guys okay i put expo i never play expo in my life i swear and then the second game i mean first game against the pro player playing hawk rider earthquake and then second game against the dude running um, the yeah, Goblin Giant with Earthquake. Like, what is going on right now? Okay, he doesn't have Earthquake in Cycle. He doesn't have Goblin Giant in Cycle. Let's go with Expo here. He does Prediction Lock Us. Um, yeah, this guy's crazy. I think this is going to be... Okay, nice. Let's go with Ice Column to tank for those bets. And then the Expo should be able to lock on top of the Firecracker. Please tell me it doesn't shoot. Oh, I think I should have locked that, to be honest. Yeah, I think if I locked that, it would have been able to instantly die. And then the expo would have been able to get even more damage. I guess still a decent situation. I mean, to be honest, getting an expo connection at any point of the game, I think is always a, a good thing. Okay, let's go musketeer. Let's go with skeletons. Let's go with ice spirit. And then I'm going to go with expo. And I'm going to go expo like this, I think. Nice, perfect. Is he going to be able to get the goblin giant down on time? I'm not sure, to be honest. I think he might not be able to get the goblin giant. Nice, okay. He doesn't have any elixir. He goes with night witch, but we can go with ice column here to protect it. And then please tell me that one bed is going to die. Okay, please tell me, no way, that one bed is not dying, that one bed actually kind of saved his tower, left side tower, um, yeah, unfortunately there wasn't in range, or I don't know what happened, but still a lot of damage dealt to his right side tower, so I, I can't really complain, but at the same time, that was kind of, um, yeah, awkward, because that one bed actually helped him so much. Okay, let's go musketeer here, and then he's probably, yeah, I was about to say that he's probably gonna soon prepare another goblin giant push, how crazy would it be to pressure the left side, I think it could be a nice idea, to force out the earthquake and then after forcing out the earthquake okay he goes with witch oh my god amazing lock look at the expo on the left side guys let's go with skeletons here and then if he goes oh my god he goes look on the um, on the other lane we can keep under pressure let's go with musketeer here let's go with ice golem let's go with another expo i don't think he should have that much elixir right now so the expo yeah perfect i was about to say the expo might be able to lock onto the tower it's gonna get a lock on top of the tower and that should be um, yeah, game over to be honest. I mean, 25 seconds left. We can go with Ice Spirit here. I'm gonna go Fire Ball on the right side just to make sure we get the defense. And then that should be game over. So, very nice W. Let me know in the comments below. As I said before, if you guys like this idea for a series. Wait, what? He also had Electro Giant. Okay, this guy is crazy. He had Electro Giant, Goblin Giant. Witch, Night Witch, like I don't know where people get these type of decks. But anyways, what I wanted to say, if you guys like this series ideas, please make sure to smack the like button. Also comment down below what you guys think about the ideas. And also let me know what type of win condition I need to play in the future. In this case, we're playing with the Expo. But as I said, we can switch to any card, guys. If you guys want to see 2.6 Hawk Cycle, but instead of Hawk Rider, we run it with Rocket. Just an example. We run it with Royal Giant. We run it with anything. Let me know in the comment section down below. The craziest ideas. I'm always down for that for sure. As long as we can make fun and good content for you guys. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit towards the left side. Let's see what this guy's going to be running. It looks like he is running the Princess Tower. So the spirits are going to be um, yeah, good for us. And then it's going to be Mortar. Okay. Okay, chill, bro. Uh, didn't know. Yeah, I didn't know why you go so aggressive or got offended. I didn't really say anything wrong, to be honest. Okay, I mean, after spending so much elixir, how are you gonna now defend this expo? I mean, the mortar is gonna lock onto the tower, but the expo, and why is everyone running, running Goblin Giant today? Like, what? Okay, I mean, the first guy was not running Goblin Giant, the first guy was running Hawk Rider, but second game, Goblin Giant, and then third game is, wait, yeah, Goblin Giant, Electro Giant, and then third game is gonna be a Goblin Giant, Giant Skeleton Mortar deck. Like, what is this? Okay, I'm gonna go with Lock here on, on defense, nice, good timing. And then, I don't know, I'm kind of surprised right now. We need to watch out because he also have the evil bomber. So I can't really go with expo like this. Because afterwards, he's probably just going to evil bomber and take all my tower. So we need to be careful here. Okay, I think I'm going to go fireball like this. He might go with another mortar on the right side. Let's see if we can catch it. No, it looks like we don't catch it. Um, just by a little bit, we missed it. But still a good situation. 
Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here on defense. Ice Spirit will be able to kill everything. And then the Musketeer also should be able to get quite a lot of value. I'm kind of afraid of a potential Bomber up high. Okay, let's go Ice Golem here. And then I'm going to go Evil Skeletons. Wait, what the? Ice Golem actually distracted the Mortar. One of the Skeletons is still alive. Wait, I have an idea. We can just fireball the Mother Witch. And then the Skeletons are going to get to the tower. There you go. Let's go with the Loki here as well. And that's going to be Tower down. Oh my god. Evil Skeletons in some situations is just... Yeah. I don't know. Like, wh what can I even say on this? Like... What just happened for one elixir? Of course, the fireball afterwards did help out quite a bit, but yeah, that's just crazy to be honest. Okay, he goes with evil bomber to try and save the tower. Doesn't? Yeah, save the tower. We can go with ice spirit here to activate our king tower, and this is looking amazingly good. Did I even play the expo? I mean, I think I did once in single elixir, right? Yeah, I, I did play it once in single elixir, but we ended up winning this match because of the evil skeletons. He ends up giving up, so yeah, let's just go with ice spirit. Let's go with ice golem. Let's go with musketeer. We can prepare another expo to take care of the third rounds. But yeah, as you guys can see, this deck is actually out working pretty well. I mean, the first game, as I said, we beat a pro player. And in the last two matches, even though we're facing some really strange deck, this deck is still really fun and really solid. So I think I'm going to hop into one more match, guys. Let's quickly freak on him. Let's go with Love. Let's go with Fireball. And I will see you guys soon with the last game. Okay, guys, hoping into the last game. Looks like we're up against also a really good player. I don't know if you guys know him, but this is semi-pro. I don't know why in today's video we're facing like or either really decent players or um yeah some really difficult matchups so that's kind of crazy actually but hopefully you guys are enjoying the video so far definitely a lot of fun and then here i guess i would just cycle yeah let's just cycle the skeletons let's then go with ice spirit um what is this guy gonna be running i think i'm gonna try to yeah make him think that it's gonna be hawk rider so let's go with musketeer and let's then afterwards i think also go with ice golem okay he has witch that's interesting I mean, which you don't really see that often. I'm thinking about a potential, maybe like a giant graveyard deck. Maybe, I don't know. I don't really know, to be honest. Let's see. Let's go with, um, yeah, look here. And then afterwards, okay, he does go with Dark Prince. Yeah, I think this is probably going to be a giant graveyard deck, to be honest. Okay, let's go Ice Spirit here to distract. Let's then go with some skeletons here to distract the um, bets as well. And then I think we might need to drop something else. Or is it fine like that? Okay, I think it's going to be fine like that. Let's go with Musketeer here. And if he thinks that it's going to be Hawk Rider, he might cycle Giant at some point. Or can we just go Expo? Okay, he goes with Elixir Collector. Wait, what? What is he running? I don't know what he's running. Is it going to be like a, a Golem? Oh, he does have the Giant. Okay. I'm going to go Ice Golem here. I'm going to go Ice Spirit towards the left side. And then I'm going to go Evil Skeletons on top of the Giant. Nice. Let's go with Cannon here to distract the Mini Pekka. Please tell me it's going to be able to take care of the Mini Pekka before it takes care of the Expo. Nice. Okay. Expo is on the tower, guys. There's going to be quite a bit of damage. He does go with the set, but luckily for us, the new tower troop is able to kill the bats really fast. And just like that, we already get a lot of damage on his left side tower. Left side tower down to 1,512 HP. Okay, so my question is, what is his win condition? Is it just going to be like a giant spam deck? Is it going to be giant graveyard but with elixir collector? I don't really want to go with fireball now because I know that he's just going to... Yes, yeah, spam us afterwards really hard. So I think I'm going to go with Expo again offensively. Force out the Giant probably. And then maybe afterwards get something um, get going. Okay, let's go like that. Let's go with Ice Spirit here as well. Skeletons for the mini P.E.K.K.A. And then I think I'm going to go Musketeer here. Okay, let's go. But can we defend this though? Let's go with Ice Golem to kite everything. Musketeer is going to be really key in this matchup. Okay, I'm going to go Fireball now. Perfect. Musketeer is getting a lot of value. Oh my god. Musketeer is kind of um, yeah, broken in some situations. Able to get a lot of value for sure. Okay, let's go Skeletons. Let's then go with... Um, I think Ice Spirit first. And then I'm gonna go Musky as well. Nice. Okay, so let's see. We need to watch out though because this push is gonna be crazy to defend. We have to pull off one of the best defenses ever done, I think. Okay, it was Skeletons here. Let's go with a lock as well. Let's go with Ice Spirit, another Musketeer. Let's go with Ice Golem here on defense. And then, I mean, looking decent right now. But this is kind of scary, guys. Let's go with Cannon here. Let's go with Ice Spirit as well. Let's then afterwards go with a look. Oh my god, right side though. Look at the right side. No, it's gonna be... No, it's way too much spam, guys. No, no, no. This is game, game over. Yeah, this is game over, as you guys can see. Even though a Fireball is just way too much spam, unfortunately... We will not be able to get the 4-0 in today's video, but still a very, very nice video. I loved game number one. That was a really, really nice game. Even though it was kind of crazy because we cycled so many fireballs, as you guys can see here, we ended up beating a really good um, yeah, pro player. He's a top 12 finish on ladder, top 8 finish in global tournament. Afterwards, we faced some crazy decks and then last match also against, the, I think, a decent player. Not really sure about his profile, but I do kind of recognize him. Yeah, I guess a decent 
semi pro player as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please make sure to smack the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, feel free to subscribe and I hope to see you guys in one of my next videos. Take care guys.